we were to record ourselves and, and really factored in how do we communicate with patients when they walk through our door for their next visit, we would be like, Hey, Laura, how are you feeling today? Right. Or what we don't ask the question, how did we do between our last session? What could I do even better to support, you know, between this session and our next session coming up? So how, how would you sort of suggest, and it doesn't have to be a perfect script, but like, what's the best way to broach that conversation? Because here's, I believe, and maybe not everyone will admit this, but everyone is afraid to hear, well, it wasn't very good. Mm -hmm. Right. But that actually could be extremely important information. So how I, I want to hear the question, were there any roadblocks? Ah. I, wanna, I want us to acknowledge, I want to assume, let's assume. <laughs> I mean, if you guys were to survey everybody in between, you know, first and second or second and third, most people are going to say they did great because they don't want to admit to themselves they didn't quite do what they could have done better, right? But what roadblocks came up for you between? And I think when you phrase it that way, they're not afraid to admit there were indeed roadblocks. And roadblocks aren't bad things. They're just things that have just put you back a little bit or weren't quite as easy as we thought, or I missed kind of this instruction, or I kind of forgot how to do it when I got there, or I went to do it and I got myself turned around. And then, you know, and no one likes failing either. Like what's worse than um, being sore and doing exercises and being sore and failing at doing exercise? Like it's no. Like we don't sign up for that a second time. No one wants to get sore even more because we're doing something not quite right. So I actually <laughs> think phrasing it and what roadblocks did we come up to? Because inevitably there were some, but they don't either want to share it with you. They don't necessarily want to be negative or they don't want to take on the responsibility themselves as a patient that I didn't do what I could have done. But that too is a roadblock. Maybe they didn't have time that week. Maybe they're like Candace today that has two little kids home sick and they're not doing their exercises because it, the time frame doesn't work, right? Maybe there's other things that have come up. So it's not roadblocks necessarily about the exercises, but it's roadblocks of the of life, right? But that doesn't mean that there's there, there are gates that are locked. It's just we have to find a way to the best way to navigate those roadblocks. Yeah. Mm -hmm.